What's up, AHS? I'm Teddy Grace. And I'm Connor. And you've tuned in to AHS Tiger TV. This month's theme is Be Celebratory. I'm celebrating that I'm back this week. And this month is almost over, and we've celebrated Black History Month, theater awards, wrestling victories, show choir showdown, bowling season, and the final four. So let's look at the announcements. National Honor Society applications are due next Friday, March 8th. All information is on the NHS Schoology page. If you have any questions, see Ms. Watts or Ms. Snyder. JV and Varsity Girls Soccer vs. Thompson at the Duck at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Attention newest members of Mu Alpha Theta. The t-shirts and membership certificates have arrived. Please stop by Ms. Turner's room, 1135, to pick yours up before school, after school, or in between classes. AHS volleyball tryouts will be held March 24th through 28th. All necessary information can be found on our website at www.auburnhighvolleyball.com. All AHSAA forms must be completed prior to tryouts. Prom tickets will go on sale Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays, starting next week on March 4th through March 29th during Tiger Time in room 1312. Tickets are $50 each and you can pay through my school bucks. Guest forms will also be available during this time. Current 10th and 11th grade students, if you were absent from Tiger Connect on February 20th, please stop by the registrar's office to pick up your credit check and a course request sheet for school next year. The deadline to input requests into INOW is Monday, March 4th at 3 p.m. Counselors will be available to help you with registration this week during Tiger Time. We will be located in Computer Lab 1325. Auburn High School Mountain Bike Race Team, comprised of ACS students in grades 6 through 12, will kick off their 2019 race season at Chihuahua State Park this Sunday, March 3rd. Everyone is invited to crack down at Tiger Town Race. Waves are at 9.30, 11.15, 12 o'clock, and 1 o'clock. Park admission is $4 per person. Bring your own picnic or buy a lunch from one of our food truck vendors. Join the fun with athletes and their families from all over our great state. Come cheer on your students and classmates in action on the race course or congratulate them at the finish line. Sophomores. The month of February is the designated recruitment slash new enrollment period for the International Baculate Program here at Auburn High. If interested in pursuing the IB Diploma Program in grades 11 and 12, please see Mr. Tyndall in Office 1210 to schedule a program readiness appointment. Students who took the PSAT in October may see Mr. Tyndall in Office 1210 for school report pickup. Hey everyone, Kate here to let you know that our very own graphic design club has entered a statewide Instagram competition. Here's Madison Knuth for more information. Right now there is an Alabama state contest to see which program has the most social media content. So we have entered it and we are trying to get more content out there. Um, it's very limited right now. And I do something where I feature somebody's work every day. So if you'd like your work featured, you can DM it to me, um, or you can email it to Mr. Cox and he'll send it over to me. AFFA is hosting a petting zoo on Thursday, February 28th during Tiger Time. It's absolutely free and it's on the band field right next to the baseball field. It's to celebrate National FFA, so come out and see some cute animals just like these. Congratulations and happy birthday to all three winners. Please come by room 3126 to pick up your prize. Thanks, Kate. Let's see a sneak peek with Coach Simo.
congratulations to the girls basketball team on making the final four. Let's get some rings. Let's check out their season with Adams. Connor. Oh, my bad. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Now to AHS Got Talent with Connor. What's up, Auburn High? I'm Connor Barron, and welcome to AHS Got Talent. We've got a great battle going on this week as we've got the start of the second round. But remember to submit your videos as there's still spots available. Let's go. Hey guys, my name's Ailey, and I'll be doing some Voices of Song the Hedgehog for you guys. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, hey kids, my name's Song the Hedgehog. I'm the fastest thing alive. I can be a robotnik and save the world from trouble in his own hands. Hey guys, I'm Tails. And um, I'm a fox and I can fly really high on my tails. Hey guys, I'm Knuckles. And if you guys get in on my nerves, I'll punch you quick. Foul. Thanks guys, remember to vote at AHS Got Talent on Instagram or at the number right here. The competition is heating up now. I feel my feet starting to heat up as we go to our favorite Tiger TV runner, Harper, for this week's PSA. Action! And today we're going to be talking about nutrition. <laughs> One in three people around the world are malnourished, contributing to almost half of all child deaths. Malnutrition can stop children from developing an effective immune system, putting them more at risk of illness and disease. But there is good news. Simply providing children with a nutritious diet vastly improves their health and immune system and helps break the cycle of hunger and poverty. What did you just watch and how did it make you feel? I just watched an informational video about nutrition and how people get the nutrients they need. So according to re recent statistics, about 85% of Americans don't consume the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's recommended daily intake to have proper growth and mental development. Why do you think the number is so high? 
I think the number is so high because it's a lot easier solution to go out and buy the cheap stuff or like the stuff that tastes better mm -hmm. than to go eat the healthy stuff that maybe doesn't taste as great. What is a way that our community can lessen the percentage? We can just try to encourage to others to eat healthy and just have that as a way to like provide it. You already know what time it is now. I do. Take it away, Luke. Hey, this is Lucas Hanshark. I'm your weather guy today, and today it is going to be sunny. I got my poncho and rain boots on. Gets me every time. If only we were that good. Yeah. Now to community coverage with Anna Marie. Hickory Dickory Park is a unique playground experience for children with a field for sports, picnics, and parties. One area is for preschool age children with a sandbox, swings, and other activities for them to do, while older children have an area more suitable for them. Hickory Dickory Park is open from sunrise until sunset and located at 1399 Hickory Lane. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Anna Marie. Tune in next Wednesday with AHS Tiger TV. Signing off, I'm Teddy Grace Jackson. And I'm Connor Barron. Go Tigers! <laughs>